Hey, Chris. Gary. Hey, man. Uh, would you do me a favor? Uh, of course, anything, man. All right, would you run a Facebook ad for me? Because I need a load of seller leads. Just go set, set up a Facebook ad and get me a lot of sellers. Yes, sir. What, wait a minute, Gary. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, you actually, um, oh, by the way, I'm Chris Scott. And I'm Gary Kraft. And we're with the paperless agent. Um, I wanted to touch on a point today about a very common, uh, uh, it's a bad assumption that okay. we make in real estate and really in all businesses make this mistake, which is to confuse the tactic with a strategy. Okay? What, 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 what are you talking about? So, so you I, know, I just want leads, man. You just want leads. And you know what? The assumption is that I could just create a Facebook ad to generate the lead, yep. right? Um, that is like saying, I could send this email out to generate a lead. I could send this text message out to generate a lead. And you know what? We're all looking for that little whiz-bang tactic. It's called a silver bullet. You know, it, unfortunately, it is. Now, here's the thing. Um, if you line up a series of tactics, you now have a strategy. And strategies are what produces outcomes, okay. not tactics. All right, okay. expand on that a little bit. All right, so let's say my goal is to generate a lead. Okay. Okay. The assumption that we'll oftentimes mistake is that, oh, I could just do this one tactic and the lead will get generated. You know, let's say my goal was to build a house and um, the tactic that I'm using is to hammer nails. Well, you already realize, and you know this, is that without a strategy of more than just hammering the nails, you're not going to get a house. Right. right? So we have, to, we have to design a full plan mm. to create a, a, a set of tactics mm -hmm. that lead to our ultimate objective. Right, and so you're going to have a strategy, whether it be for generating leads, you're going to have a strategy for you know building up your presence online, you're going to have a strategy for you know the outcomes that we want to produce. A mm -hmm. lot of times we, we we jump from tactic to outcome. Okay. Right, and and it's skipping so many steps. And then you know the most common experiences people will say to your point, like, well, Facebook must not work for me. Um, you know, to really take that all the way down, email must not work for me. You know, nothing essentially works for me. Right. Um, or nothing works for my type of business is usually what I'll say is, hey, this must not work in our type of business. Um, that's one all the way. And hey, we're all guilty of it. You know, I think because our hope is to develop our real estate practices and our real estate businesses that um, our hope is that, man, if there was just that one little thing that would do the trick. Mm -hmm. So let me give you guys a slightly different approach. Let's, let's go back to that concept of, I want to generate a lead. Which I think we all do. We all do, right? Um, and let's maybe be more specific and say, I would like to generate more listing leads. Right. Okay. Well, we have to take, take a step back and say, well, what needs to happen to generate the lead? I don't, I'm not talking about technology-wise. Let's look at what actually needs to happen to generate a lead. Well, um, Gary, you know, you oftentimes talk about trust being necessary. Trust right? is the name of the game. So. How do we build trust mm -hmm. to generate these leads? Well, when you're looking at from a marketing perspective, there's a lot of things that we can do to generate trust with individuals or a group of individuals and then start to make offers of help. So if you were to look at like the whole process for becoming a lead, is first, um, a person who's thinking of buying or selling a home is aware of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have to just be generally know that- That we exist. We exist and we <laughs> exist and we have services in real estate, right? right. Um, that's the awareness phase. Uh, and then at that time, between the awareness phase and before the consideration phase, consideration is when they're actually deciding who they're going to work with, it is during that time that we must really work on building trust, okay? okay? Um, and so that might be just consistency. That just might be consistency of showing up, showing up, showing up. Uh, the awareness, through consistency of awareness, when, we, when, they get, when they get to the consideration phase of who they're gonna work with, now we're an option. Now, we might need more to happen than just that, right? Okay. We might have to um, really work on developing a sphere of influence so that when they go to ask the people that they know who is a good person to work with, for example, that our name is coming up. Which right? builds more trust. Which builds more trust. And then at some point, you're going to have a, a point in the process where they're going to be making a decision. Now, between the consideration phase and the decision-making phase, people who they trust have to be making relevant offers of help, right? They have to be seeing something that we're offering that they want, right? Maybe it's searching on our website, 
right? Maybe it's to take advantage of a program that we have for helping home buyers purchase homes or, you know, uh, be able to sell their homes, right? At some point, they're going to make that decision as well. So what we have to do is take a step back and say, how do the tools like Facebook, how do tools like email, text messaging, Facebook, social media, uh, Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, how do, how do this mix of marketing tools or marketing tactics fit within each stage of the process. Now, when I start to fit those tactics into a larger sequence designed to produce the outcome, now I've got a strategy. Now I've got something that produces a result, okay? The other thing I have is something that I can start to test and improve because when you're just basing it off of one thing, I'm just gonna create this Facebook ad and hope to get leads from it, unfortunately, there's really not that much you can change to improve the outcome. Right, so when you've got a whole strategy, you've got, or even view it as a process, when you've got a whole process, now you've got parts in the process that you can improve. Now you've got parts in the process that aren't like so dependent on just one tactic to produce the result. You've got this whole process, this whole strategy. So where one tactic might like not cut it, or maybe one where it's lacking, you have so many other steps to make up for it. So ultimately, Having strategies for every outcome that you desire in your own real estate practice is really critical. Absolutely. And so if you would like to learn more about the different strategies that we're implementing into our own real estate practice, what do they need to do? Subscribe to our YouTube channel here.